Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're actually going to take a look at and see what is written in your destiny. So, we'll take a look and see what the cards say. What is it that's predestined, or what is it that's fated for you? This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and we'll begin. So once again, what is it that's written in your destiny? You do have some pentacles that's written in your destiny. It's come up in reverse. Okay. So you've got two number fours that's made an appearance in your spread. Now the number four, in terms of angel numbers here, it's a card that's um, often... It's... It brings in important messages and it asks you to pay attention to those important messages. So the fact that it, it's not a coincidence, the fact that this number has appeared twice here and the, the, the number four is all about your guardian angels. Okay, so a lot of you, you, you actually did not walk path, this path alone. You actually have guardian angels who walk alongside by you. Now, these guardian angels also try to communicate with you, but sometimes you don't always hear the message. Okay. Um, some of you may not necessarily be open to receiving those messages here. Some of you may not really, you know, be that way inclined. But it definitely feels like, because number four is one of, it's, it's one of the more powerful angel numbers. And it definitely feels like the angels have a message for you. And, it, you know, it doesn't matter which path you end up taking the light taking in life even if it's you know even if you set yourself on the wrong path the angels are always there to guide you to communicate with you to help you along the way here they're there to give you strength and inner support okay but sometimes i feel like some of you are not open or not receptive here to hearing those uh, to hearing those messages but they will always be with you encouraging you guiding you supporting you and helping you overcome any obstacles that do um, appear in your footpath here. So if you do receive some messages, okay, associated with the number four, rest sure that it is um, a message from your guardian angel. And they're always there to give you the support that you need here. Okay, now with the world card, I can see that success, achievement, um, accomplishments, completion, fulfillment, uh, fulfillment, a sense of belonging or wholeness is definitely interwoven and written into your destiny. Okay, um, I know this card is like sort of having the world at your feet, and I believe that most of you air signs will or will have the opportunity for that. I also see that ahead in your destiny to me, it's a it's a card that represents all the different worlds okay and all the different worlds that will become made available to you here some of you i feel like you could be maybe this card here is sort of like saying that you're going to be welcomed in by all different people around the world so especially for those of you that you know have traveled or are willing to travel that is very much written in your cards in your destiny and I can see that this is definitely going to be a trip or a journey of success because you're definitely going to be feeling very welcomed by all the people here from all different countries here. Um, any, I feel like any goals, aspirations, dreams, any opportunities that you want to embark and undertake on, a lot of you, you are determined, you are destined to be successful. Okay, so even if you feel like you have, you harbor a dream or a goal and you feel like it's just too hard to achieve or it's impossible. 
nothing is impossible. The word, it spell, the word itself spells I impossible. It's only impossible um, until someone goes ahead and does it, right? So to me, it feels like you're definitely going to be successful in the opportunities that will present themselves to you, provided you do take advantage, you do realize your own talent and take advantage of those opportunities here. And I'm also seeing that opportunities here are going to be, they're going to be created for you here, especially for you. And they're going to come to you in endless, um, in endless amounts here. Okay. Some of you have been through a lot of trials and tribulations, but as I've mentioned, I do see that your angels are always guiding you and supporting you on your journeys here. I'm also seeing that some of you are destined for the world platform. So some of you are definitely destined to have, to be seen here. So I see fame is written in your destiny, like movie stars in the entertainment industry. So you're being you're being put on this worldly platform in which the world has access to you. Some of you, I feel like, look, it could be, you know, these days fame, you know, there's all different types of fame, right? But um, I definitely see for a lot of you, you are destined to reach a lot of people. So whether that is, you know, via the entertainment industry, whether that is... Um, having your works written and published, or whether that is having a very successful YouTube channel or like um, a social media platform of, of some sort where you're very inspiring and uplifting here. So some of you, I definitely feel like you will find success there because there's just something about your energy in which people gravitate towards you here. In terms of love, I feel like love, for some of you, if you've not yet found the one, love is definitely written in, into you, your destiny, okay? I definitely feel like there is a loving, committed relationship here, even children that will come from this relationship here. And that, once again, that's like a, the example of two like worlds coming together, opening up and blending into one. So it definitely, it's, to me, it definitely signifies that there is a beautiful romantic energy here okay whom is destined for you and this person is written into your destiny you're going to draw someone absolutely amazing into your life and i see that you the two of you will go on to have it could just be one child for some of you i feel like it's just one child but for others of you i feel like there'll be children here and this could happen for a lot of you watching this could actually happen whilst you're actually traveling overseas so you will meet this person on your travels here Okay, and I mentioned with career goals, I definitely feel like you will achieve success there. Now, in terms of um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, I definitely feel like a lot of you are destined to be, if not millionaires or billionaires, I mean, some of you are, but you're definitely going to be financially comfortable, financially stable, financially independent here. Some of you are definitely going to have a business here. Okay, it's just because I feel like, you know, you guys are very business orientated, you're business minded here. So I definitely feel like financial security independence here. And some of you, it's like a, some sort of unexpected whirlwind or even like a bonus. Okay, but it does feel well deserved here. It feels something that you've been working very hard towards comes your way. A lot of you have also been through karmic, a lot of karmic lessons here, and you've learned from them, and you're beginning to understand yourself, yourself and your path a lot more better here. You're definitely a lot more in tune here with um, spirits, you know, spiritual fulfillment here. And for some of you, I even see like new planes opening up. For you so again that whole world's opening up for you for some of you it's on a spiritual level it's like new spiritual planes opening up for you because you do you have gained that spiritual fulfillment attainment seven of pentacles is about long-term goals here so some of you you've planted the seeds for something and those seeds are not going to flourish or blossom overnight so keep working towards that dream that goal that business that opportunity that you've been wanting whether it's business or whether it's romantic keep working because I do feel like there is a payout here you know one day you will see all that harvest here and not only that I feel like guys 
a lot of the effort, like what you put out, and some of you have been putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy, that's coming back to you like a boomerang. So I feel like there's going to, you know, there's going to be some sort of big payoff for you in the future here. A, a very juicy big payoff in the future. And some of you, it is financially. So whether you hit the lotto, um, you know, whether you sign on to a very opportune business deal whether you start up a very successful business company however you know whatever form that payout comes to you i definitely see that happening in the future and of course the ace of swords it reminds us guys that you are governed by mental energy and you do have the gift of the gab you guys are natural wordsmiths so it would be a shame for a lot of you watching and listening who don't necessarily decide to utilize that or you know share that with the world for some of you as i've mentioned i definitely feel like there are certain roles that are destined that, that you're destined to take on whether it's politicians whether it's writer author um, a public speaker of some sort here um, i'm even seeing like a movie star because you know they have to recite their lines here so those things are written in your destiny so if you feel really compelled or drawn to certain um certain roles or certain dreams here it's not a coincidence, it's not random either, it's because it speaks to you and it's inbuilt in your nature. So if you're being called to do something, understand that it's in alignment with your higher purpose, with your higher calling, so don't ignore that. Alright guys, and these are your messages, thanks for watching and listening, please show your support by subscribing, liking, um, sharing. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect with me, otherwise, bye for now.